Brok the Yahweh, Brok the Yahweh Shai, Brok the Yahweh, Brok the Yahweh Shai, Brok the Yahweh, Brok the Yahweh Shai. Okay, all praises unto you, Abba Shemiel Shai, Wahara Kakadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, on the sheep of the people, Shin is truth and sincerity, fight the four corners of the earth. So, this is going to be uh, a quick video. Um, I'm going to address this uh, individual here. I don't know his name, but as you can see from the background, and as I'm going to title in the video, um, a, a, a comedian at live at the Apollo addresses the black Hebrew Israelites. And this is uh, obviously out here in England. Okay, live at the Apollo is basically one of the most top. That's basically if you made it as a comedian, that's that's the top, top, top bar, you know. Okay, that's the um, that's the standard. That's the position or you want to be in. Okay, if you want to crack the so-called crowd, you want to make yourself a name within the realms of comedy, well, pretty much live at the Apollo, that's, that's the one. As far as I know, that's the, that's the show where you, where you make it. And then, you know, subsequently, they might give you your own show, your own set or whatever, whatever. But pretty much live at the Apollo is the one, okay, as far as I know. But pretty much uh, when you watch the uh, comedy and you can watch it on our uh, BBC iPlayer, okay, this individual here, he's got his skit. And um, for not for the purposes of um, uh, copyright infringement and all that, I'm not gonna address the um, I'm not gonna play the video per se. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speak about uh, a, a few of the things that he spoke about and some of the things that he didn't say. Okay, I mean I didn't watch the whole entirety of the video, but pretty much there was a there was no scoffing. Okay, this dude pretty much acknowledged the truth for the what the truth is, and one of the things he he said was what. He said that Esau is the devil and everybody in the crowd laughed when he said, well, basically, I ain't disagreeing with that. OK, and pretty much what he was making fun of, he was making fun of Esau, which is funny because pretty much what that goes to show you is that this truth is out there. All right. And I, you know, like I said, I haven't watched the entirety of the of the of the um, of the uh, of the um, of the movie and that all I did is um, I, I've seen the skit and it looks like that's the uh, that's part of his topic. And basically, he addresses he addresses us, and we're not the black Hebrew Israelites first and foremost. Okay, let, let's push that out there because guess what? I got brothers out here within this faith that are white, so let's get that out there. I mean, that's the thing that Esau is going to play off of for for the longest. But every brother out here that's in Great Millstone needs to be aware of the fact that we are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. We are not black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites, okay? They are brothers within the Great Millstone camps, okay? That are white, okay? That are yellow, that are brown, that are, that are dark skin, okay? We're not black Hebrew Israelites. Because when you go into the scriptures, you find out that the, the, the promises were given unto the children of Israel. And when you go into the curses, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 64th verse, you find that from the, from the from the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 64th verse, that pretty much the, uh, uh, the Moosai set it up to where the 12 tribes was going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So he was going to be the, the seed, okay, which is our children, was gonna, were going to be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. They was going to come looking like every every shape, shade underneath the sun. But so long as the fathers, uh, the, the children, the sons, uh, 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 as long as the fathers, rather more, go back onto the um, onto the man Israel, it was going to be Israelites. That's why it's called a surname, okay. And that's why you get your surname uh, 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 from the um, from your um, from your father, man. And so two was supposed to be the promises. The promises were going to go through the father, not through the mother, like how these so-called Jews do, but through the mother, man. But like I said, the, the Giza addresses the black Hebrew Israelites. And for the most part, as far as like in the skit that I've seen, the, the segment I've seen, all he does is makes fun of Esau and basically makes it to where what? He's going to be a bad slave or whatever, whatever. But guess what? We're going to beat Esau into shape, man. So let me just touch a few uh, uh, on a few topics. OK, the thing of the black Hebrew Israelites. OK, uh, um, like with the, with the, with the precepts that I had quoted and then uh, I'll build on that. OK, so the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter on the 64th verse. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64, um, it says um, pretty much the Lord, Yahweh, when you see the Lord in all caps, that's talking about Yahweh, 
Okay, that's the name of the Moosai, and which is his his son's name is Shai. Okay, the Lord shall scatter thee amongst all people from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there ye shall serve other gods which neither thou neither thy father have known, even wooden stone. So we was gonna be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Now let's see the flip side of that. Okay, the book of um, Romans nine and one. Okay, going to show you that it's uh, through the fathers. I say the truth in Christ. I line up my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. So according to the flesh, all right, the brethren, the kinsmen, all right. And then it goes on to show, it goes and says in the, uh, in the fifth verse, who's are the fathers. So the, the, the father, the son, the father, the son, that's how the blessing goes. And let me show you what it says. It says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. So all the promises within the scriptures okay, and the promises of the, of the, uh, uh, and the promises. So all the things that I said within the scriptures, the promises, that's only for the Israelites, man. That's only for the Israelites. And it goes through the father. So you might have a, a geezer that's, that's, that looks Chinese on the outward. But if his descendants, by way of his father, goes back onto what? The man Israel. Guess what? That's a man of the law right there. So that should cut the whole thing of, um, oh, that, that should cut the whole thing of, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Of, um, um, the black Hebrew Israelite thing. Because our children was going to come, you know, the children of Israel was going to come looking in all shapes, shades and colors, man. Okay, so let me touch on uh, some, a few other topics. Okay, one of the other things that he was saying was was that what Esau was going to be in slavery, which is correct. But guess what? All the nations are going to be in slavery underneath. See, that's 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 what people play on. They play on the black and white thing because that's <coughs> there's an emotional connotation behind that. <coughs> but basically, all the all the all the all the people of the earth, okay, all the all the nations of the earth. They're gonna be subjugated underneath the rulership of the Israelites. So let me get some. Um, let me get this precept within, within the book of Psalms 149. Okay, Psalms 149. Okay, and um, you can start from some. Yeah, Psalms 149. Okay, and then um, okay, and five it says, "Let the saints be joyful." Who are the saints? Psalms 50 and 5. Okay, that's who the saints are. Okay, uh, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let their high praises of the most high be in their mouth. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Okay, to execute uh, uh, vengeance upon them. Upon the heathen and the punishments upon the people. To bind their kings and their nobles with fetters of iron. Okay, so that extends beyond just Esau. That goes for Moab. Okay. Uh, Ammon, Ishmael, and so on and so forth. All the nations are going to be subject underneath the rulership of the Israelites, which for the most part are going to be the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. But like I said earlier, okay, we was go we we're coming in all shapes, shades, and colors, man. Okay, the Israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So it ain't just a thing that Esau being, although he's going to be the main one in, 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 in the main one that's going to be in captivity. The main prophecy concerning Esau, okay, is is this one here in Obadiah. Okay, uh, Obadiah, um, but all the nations are going to be in slavery underneath us. So continue in the book of Obadiah. Um, and, and 18, it says, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph shall be a flame, and the house of Esau shall be for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and they shall devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken it. Okay, so... That's the main thing concerning Esau. If there's anything to be said about Esau, it's that. It's, it's that above all the other nations, he's the main one, or main one, he's the only one that's going to be completely removed from the earth. Okay, every all the other nations of the earth are going to be slaves to the Negro, to, to the Israelites. Okay, but he's going to be the main one that's going to be the number one guy. Okay, that's the only nation that's going to be completely taken off out of the earth. That's the main prophecy concerning Esau. So that should clarify a few things, okay? And um, like I said, you know, the skit, basically he was, he didn't scoff about the skit, meaning to say what? It's widely accepted that we are the Hebrew Israelites. Now all they want to do is sensationalize the thing, okay? So, uh, 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 um, but really, even when you watched it, 
Okay, the jokes that he was making, he was really making more fun out of Esau than he was making fun out of the, what he called the Hebrew Israelites. And I just wanted to touch on that because I thought he was, it, it goes to show you that basically this word is coming out there. But also too, what you brothers have to remember that we're not the black Hebrew Israelites. We are the Israelites and we got brothers out here that are white in appearance, but they're, they're the, the sons of the, of the sons of Israel, man. So with that, I'm going to say, oh, praise on Tiyah, Ba Hashim, Yahu Shai, Wahab, Krakadash, double honors on Tiyah, apostles of Great Millstone. Honestly, brothers, that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.